I'm Ching and I live here in my studio. Every space of this studio is a composition for me. It's like a free spirit that I can do as I please here. I didn't have to uh, follow anything. Paz Abad Santos is one of the most exciting Filipino visual artists that I have met. She has looked at Philippine art from a very different viewpoint than other artists and I think the kind of passion that she has put into her use of textile as, as a visual art medium is very impressive. She practically lives art. You know, everything she has, everything that she sees, she lives and breathes art. Her interest in art, I noticed that she was deep into Filipino expressions of art. She was doing something very personal, but at the same time very deeply spiritual. She's known for being one of the eldest of the cousins and also the artist of the family, the first professional artist. And she's devoted her life to her art. Ching, siya ang isang pinakagaling na estudyante ko noon nung nasa nagituro ako ng arts here at Wilson sa Fine Arts. She was part of the new generation of artists who are trying new directions. Paz Abad Santos is very important because she has studied ethnic design motifs and she finds the, the rhythm of the pattern. And it is that rhythm of the pattern that she uses to its fullest as a contemporary artist. She also had uh, new chromatic schemes, chromatic codes, which were taken from the indigenous ethnic communities. And she used these the new chromatic codes, which were really stronger, more vibrant, and sharper, as though to counteract the conservative uh, uh, ways of painting and choosing color. Kasi pag tingin mo, parang you are drawn into a channel. Tapos you are thrown into the universe, beyond this world. Pero at the same time, part ka na ng loob, part ka ng painting, pinapasok ka na sa, sa canvas niya. was one of her earliest fiber works. She used uh, a lot of uh, new um, techniques such as uh, sewing, uh, different styles of uh, using fabric, and also different color schemes. Sa paligid niya, magkocompose ka lang ng magkocompose. Lahat naman eh, parang magkamag-anak sila, hindi mo kang alanganin na gugustuhan ko hanggang dito. Diduduktong ang duktungan mo. Dinuduktong duktong. When I made Delirious Spin, those were all the strands that were left over uh, uh, in the house that uh, was available. So that was an exciting thing to work with strands at that time. Among the many works of Paz Abad Santos, I am rather fond of the Tiboli Tinalak series. She takes this and she creates a totally different type of, uh, of Tinalak. 
you know, these fine, intricate uh, tinalaks with these gigantic expressions of uh, that sito of a different spirit. She's been consistent with uh, highlighting the natural patterns that she sees around and really making people uh, appreciate the beauty of what we think is, is ordinary. It is recreated nature in her canvas. Hindi basta hindi simple ang tinalak. It's a very special thing, close to being a sacred piece. At handmade ang paggawa nito. Hindi hindi basta ginagamit din. At naging mas kilala siya hanggang siya nanalo siya dun sa Manila Art Awards number two. I'm the only female mobile awardee. And that's no big deal, uh, considering talagang magagaling na silang lahat. Kaya, I decided to make this five big, gigantic tinalak tapestries. It made me brave. Kailangan yun talagang... yun talagang medyo mahirap na at uh, hindi pang karaniwan ang itsura. You wouldn't imagine how her hands, as a woman, would really work on gigantic tapestries. When I was president of Metropolitan Museum of Manila, I had surmised, rightly or wrongly, that the Philippine art scene did not have enough exhibits of large works by Filipinos. They were really very big tapestries which reached from a ceiling to ground. And they're quite wide in dimensions. And this was some kind of turning point in which she looked elsewhere for new inspirations from the Philippines. It's the national in her, highlighting the, the strength and character of the local materials that we have that are, are always part of her art. It is not a Tiboli Tinalak. It is a Paz Abad Santos Tinalak. The kind of work she does, you're, you're not sure. Is it tapestry? Uh, is it painting? In other words, she represents that particular generation of visual artists in the world who are already mixing media in a very spontaneous manner and in a way where they frankly did not care where everybody else was going. She just loves to um, paint and work with her hands and as she calls it, play. She just calls it play. I love to play. She used very compelling color schemes which I think were influenced or inspired by uh, the Mindanao textiles. They consisted of stitching uh, fibers onto the burlap brown shells and small bones and glass. The materials are ordinary. But once he puts them together, iba na yung dating, iba. So the thing is truly an artist and truly Filipino. Even before uh, the thing called indigenous art has been popularized, she's done that. My experience mo yung integrity ng person and art. Yung art niya, yung pagkatao niya, makikita mo, nare-reflect yung sarili niya sa art, yung art saka sa sarili niya. Ito, ito, ito. Ito, ito naman ang talagang naging study nito. Sa, paggag, pa, sa pagpipili ng kulay, na ilalabas yung talagang kulay nung, uh, nung ginagawa ng mga tigarun noon. Yung ilinalagay nila sa mga mga disenyo nilang baro o kung ano man. Para sa akin, ganyan lang sari manok eh.
psychiatrist, well, uh, art therapy for me is a psychosocial intervention. When we say psychosocial intervention, we, we use art, okay, to deal with the psychological, social, and emotional aspects of a person's uh, well-being. When they were starting to draw, at maraming beses, eh, pag malapit na ng 12 o'clock, sinasabi, o oh, time na, time na, sinasabi ko, Huwag mo silang abalahin. They don't like to be disturbed. They like to finish their drawing. It's very healing not only to the artist, but to the ones watching the artist do that. And to see the work itself. Sabi nga ni Ching, oh, pag may pain ka, express mo what, kung anong pinakang expression ng pain sa color. I mean, wala. It's a way, very healing. Her art is really very complex and rich, so it touches uh, people no, on all levels of their being. Her art helps to heal these infirmities, not only physically, but I think it also heals people you know, spiritually. The therapeutic goal of her art therapy is empowerment. It's not to abate symptoms, it's, it's not to, um, to heal, but to, to empower people uh, to become more, uh, more uh, in control of, of their lives. My inspiration is that uh... All, all the patients I have been with have always been very happy in what they were doing. Doing art therapy is really lots of fun. It's really lots of fun. I, I enjoy it so much. Her art is her companion. She's reflective. Her art is reflective. It speaks so much of her thoughts. It speaks so much of her emotions. It's just coming from within. system, um, ginawa siya para ma-identify ng mga visually impaired here in the Philippines yung mga colors para makapag-create um, ng composition of painting. Um, here is the black straight line brown she is one very important case of uh, the success of uh, Pas Abed Santos uh, Fiber Art in which you see the coordination you know, between these uh, fabric cards you know, with their textures representing different colors. Yung ginawa niya sa um, strand system is um, eight colors. Tulad ng red, isang strand. Yung orange is a strand close together. Yung blue, that long strand close together. Yung inintroduce niya yun sa akin, parang na-excite ako. Na possible pala na pwede rin ma-appreciate ng visually impaired yung colors. Medyo mahirap kasi blind sila, but for my own experience, it is when I close my eyes that I can really see all of these images. Before ako gumawa ng composition, hindi lang basta naglagay ako ng kulay dyan eh. Kung ano yung ma-express ko na makikita ng ibang tao. Kumaga expression of who you are, of what you're thinking. Let's face it, some of us can see, but frankly we're not expressing because we're not sensing. around it. You choose the color you want. Maganda nga. Maganda nga eh. Maganda nga. Uh, itong um, composition ko ay composed ng seven colors. Vision ng isang visually impaired sa art tsaka sa vision nila sa life. Ginawa ko siyang 
black naging brown or red dahil hurtful sa kanila na hindi nila ma-appreciate yung visual arts. And then, nag, um, nagkaroon siya ng unti-unting light. So, yellow sa taas and green and then blue. Kung baga, uh, mas clear na siya. Nung na-compose yung um, strand system, yung, um, parang yung dark, unti-unti siyang naging um, light. Ako, tinitingnan ko lang sila. Tinitingnan ko talaga yung strand. The strand, when you are sailing, points to your direction. So many times when you want to go to sleep, that is when you can do all your compositions, when you close your eyes. In the year 2000, I was doing these works here. Those were my fabrics of life. But the fabric design done here is really all different from each other. They just have one color in particular. And it can connect even if it's not the same, but it's all the same. That's what's exciting about it. You've done that a thousand times. And she says, but each one is different. I go, that's true. I guess that's why we love her. In the recent decade, she has created very small artworks, contrary to the big ones, you know, that, that she has created. Probably because uh, she wants to share her piece, her masterpieces. These minute cards, minute works, actually, when you weave them again together, the infinity of the patterns that is created with these minute works makes it also equally large. She was able to get a patent for it. Uh, it's very useful. It has potential for research. I really call it Fabric of Life series to infinity because you can connect and connect and connect from the center. And it's as if it never ends. Sila yung immortal eh. Yung mga artists, mawawala lahat sila. Pero yung works of art, hindi, hindi mawawala yun. <laughs>